This is one of the most exciting videos I've ever done, and that's because it's actually the answer to most new YouTuber and streamers' problems. I always say the fastest way to grow a stream is to create recorded content from your streams. The thing is, when you're first starting out, this can be a hugely difficult task for a lot of reasons. The two biggest reasons are new streamers aren't editors. They don't know how to edit, and they don't really want to learn. Second, it's really hard to parse through three-hour streams to find the best moments or the moments that are going to fit in with the story that you want to tell for your video. Now what I'm going to show you today solves both of those problems and it's so easy to use. So you know what? Let's get to it! Now that intro was completely filmed and sequenced in Riverside. Okay, that took forever. It only took like five minutes, Carl. I don't see how that's possible the way that you filmed stuff. What do you mean by that? Well, you just ramble on and on and say the same things over and over again. I can barely listen. Well, that's the best part, Carl. You don't have to watch or listen to the video to edit it. How is that even possible? Well, I'm gonna show you that today if you let me get to it. We'll get to it then. I want to see how this works. Now, if you aren't aware of what Riverside is, it's the leading software for podcasting, especially with guests. In fact, I've never met a podcaster who didn't use it. But now Riverside does so much more for video and streaming. There is a live streaming feature built in, but for this video, I just want to show you how to turn those recorded live streams into edited content in no time at all. And not just for YouTube either, it can format them to Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and pretty much any platform that you could possibly imagine. You can check out Riverside for yourself in the link in the description. You definitely won't be disappointed. Let me show you how it works. So to start this process, here we are in Riverside. It's pretty simple. Once you log in, this is what you're gonna see. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new studio. And we're gonna call this one intro. We're gonna do audio and video and in English. And then we're gonna go ahead and continue to set up the studio. Audio and video, transcript language English. We don't need to schedule this particular studio or invite any participants. So we're gonna go ahead and create the show. And there aren't any recordings yet. And we can go over here into settings and see the recording settings. So you could set it to public or private, schedule, invite participants. Here's the recording information. So record audio only, no, noise reduction, select audio sample rate. So you could change that up right here. Participant video recording, you wanna optimize for quality obviously. And you can go to advanced and you can go up to 4K. Very, very cool. And then you can actually set it up so that you can live stream whatever it is that you're live streaming directly to any of these platforms and you can also set up integrations with Dropbox which is pretty awesome and so we're gonna just go ahead and click go into the studio right here and I am NOT using headphones here is where you're gonna set up your camera right there and here is where you're gonna set up your microphone so you just want to make sure that you select the proper microphone and our default speakers are right here but everything is all set up I am the host and we're going to join the studio. Now we can't see the entirety of the thing unless we do that. And that allows us to see the entire window. I'm going to move my microphone off a little bit here. Now if we wanted to invite guests or anything like that, we could do it right here. But for the purposes of this, we're just going to film our intro just like this. So we're basically all set. All we have to do is record. So once you're finished with your recording, you can just click the Riverside button here at the top. I like to go back in and close out the studio and then just go to view recordings and we see our recording right here. We can just select it. You're going to basically see transcripts and all that fun stuff. You could get a full transcript or download the transcript, which is absolutely awesome. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and select the clip and it brings us in here and we can go to edit. And this asks you how you want to edit. You want to do a story or a Facebook or Instagram post or something like that. You can select from either one of those. Obviously, we're going to do a full length. And here's what we get. And here's where it gets absolutely awesome. So over here on the left, you can see I coughed at the beginning. If I highlight this, it will show that down here. 
and then I can just remove it. Boom, it cuts that. So that is no longer a part of the video. Now we have silence here for 14 seconds and I can go ahead and remove that as well. And we'll go ahead and let's select that and we'll remove it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put here, we're gonna split and we'll select this and we'll remove it. We can select specific words in this and you see that the, it'll move the playhead to each of those words. Now, this first phrase, we didn't get through the whole thing. We're gonna go ahead and remove that as well. And there we go. And we wanna remove the silence, so we're gonna go and split this, select this and remove it. So now we are right here. And like I said, we can just click on any of these. and it will select those words. Now if we go back to the beginning here and I click play, you'll see that it goes and follows the actual words. This is one of the most exciting videos I've ever done and that's because it answers the most, and there you go. So you can see how that works and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove that and we're going to go ahead and click here and split and remove this now let's say that we were looking for a specific word uh, you know because you're searching through a three-hour live stream and you just want to fly to a specific part that is going to be the one that you want well that's pretty easy you just do a search for a word like we'll search for the word problem there we go and it finds that word in your script and you can just cut everything before it or everything after you don't have to even listen to any of this stuff and if you see down here it has little markers where it shows the number of times that you say that word and you can just jump to either one listen to them real quick or not once you have all the clips separated out that you know you want all you have to do is remove the stuff at the end of the video so there we go so now we can just take the stuff that's selected here and we can export it and we should have our intro. Let's see. So you could select the quality for your video that you want to export, remove background noise, remove watermark, all the stuff. And what we're going to do here is just export it and it'll email you when it's all set. Now here's what we get on the export. This is one of the most exciting videos I've ever done. And that's because it's actually the answer to most new YouTuber and streamers problem. I always say the fastest way to grow a stream is to create recorded content from your streams. The thing is, when you're first starting out, this can be... A so you can see that it doesn't take a lot of time to worry about when the cuts are, how the cuts look, or anything like that. Which is fine, that's what you'd expect. What it does do is it clips everything out and makes it really easy for you to put it in something like DaVinci Resolve and clean it up in like 5 seconds. As opposed to searching through hours of footage and having to watch it all. You don't have to watch anything. In fact, this works better when you don't watch anything. This works better when you just go through and you delete the transcription stuff that you don't want, leave the stuff that you do, it will clip it out, and it'll make it literally easy for you to have to learn almost no editing, just some slight cleanup. And you can make five minute videos, 10 minute videos, or one minute videos, whatever length you want, and it's really ridiculously easy. This is like having someone watch all your content and completely sequence up only the parts you want, except for that you can do it, and it takes almost no time. So once the clips are finished, you just go back to your dashboard after you watch them, and they're gonna all be listed here. You just click this, and you go ahead and download the clip, and there you go. Now you can see there are other options as well. You could publish this clip directly if you wanted to. You can duplicate it. All kinds of really cool stuff. This tool is a game changer for anyone who's just starting out, or even veterans. It's just so easy. You can turn a stream into multiple videos in just a few minutes without watching any hours of footage. Why doesn't everyone use Riverside? These features are all new, Carl. They didn't know about them. That's why we're doing the video. Well, folks should share this video so more people will learn about this awesome tool. I hope they do, Carl. It's incredible software. 
don't forget to check it out in the link below in the description. Now, if you want to see more about how to add guests and do all that other stuff in Riverside, you should check this video out. And I'd like to say a big thanks to Riverside for sponsoring this video. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you. So thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. That is Carl the Cat. Yo. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.